period just around the corner. It's time for our Hamburger Bonanza. If the home team scores in the next two minutes, you can get a... He's Ray Ferraro, I'm James Cebulski, and we are ready to get this third period going. Barring extra time, the final frame of this one. Here we go, third period is underway. Ray Ferraro is between the benches at ice level. Ray, we've got 40 minutes played so far. How have you viewed things? New York's been a step slow almost all game. They haven't had the puck very much. They're losing. If that's gonna change, they've gotta get the puck and hold on to it much more. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Referee singling delayed penalty. Looks like hooking will be the call. Guys, we know this PK unit is ranked toward the bottom of the league, but tonight they've already successfully killed off one of their penalties. Let's see what they can do with this opportunity here in front of them. Manson's got the puck along the wing. The Avs will take it behind the net. And just a good old-fashioned solid body check on the play. New York's got a hold of the puck. And we'll get a face-off after the offside call. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. The Islanders win the face-off. Beauvillier's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Let's get the official decision. Well, their lead now depends on their penalty killers as they're shorthanded after that penalty. Centers glide into the face-off dot, and a huge five-on-three power play looms. This power play almost jumped off the bench as soon as the penalty was called. They want out. They think they're the answer for the one-goal deficit. Sturm's going to play it against the half wall. And that carries off a stick, trying to shake loose. He's clear! And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Murray. Grabs the puck here in their own end. Takes it to the front. He scores! Even under man, they deliver. Yeah, it's a sloppy play by the power play. But shorthanded, they get aggressive, they get up the ice, and are able to score while down a man. Man, it looks like a bus depot in front of the net. You know it's a tough one when you can't see the goalie. That means he can't see the puck. The Avs have found themselves a huge goal to start this third period. You go into the intermission up by one, and a lot of the talk is, let's expand the lead. Well, it hasn't taken them five minutes, and now they lead by two. New York's regained possession of the puck. He's got a little jump. He's in, all alone. New York's got control of it now here in the offensive end. And he makes the save on that play. Oh, they do it again. Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. With possession along the wall. And now it's grabbed by Kadri. Burakovsky's out of the box, but they're still shorthanded as he steps in to help try to kill off this penalty. He scores! A shorthanded marker! I don't think the penalty killers ever really look for a shorty, but if the opportunity's there, now they're more aggressive than they've ever been. Well, the last two minutes weren't so great, but these last 10 seconds were pretty good for him. Out of the box and on the board. Colorado's all smiles on the bench next to you, aren't they? Yeah, they're having lots of fun. Not so much on the other side, where this night has been a nightmare. The Avs win it. Puck scooped up by Murray. In the offensive zone with the puck. You know he's thinking about his next milestone that's sitting one goal away. O'Connor's up at the box. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. The Islanders certainly didn't get the result they wanted on that power play, giving up a shorthanded marker. Made the save on the play. Kemper's had a relatively easy night. He hasn't faced many shots, and they've got a nice, comfortable lead. 
Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. The Avs now lead by three. New York's won the faceoff. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. He got all of that one. The Islanders will play it from the defensive zone. Hits an on man rush. Two on one. What a steal in his own end. Along the wing up the neutral zone. The Islanders scoop it up along the boards. And offside will get a reset here. His teammates love playing with him. Among the league leaders in assists, he makes everybody else on the ice a little more dangerous. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Slides it on over to Nelson. Colorado's looking to break out of their own end. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. The Avs will play it against the boards. From the slot, wrist shot gives them nothing in front. Taken by Wallstrom. Tries to feed it over to Lee. Into the offensive zone. To the low slot. The Avs look to start the transition game. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. Flashes the leather. Sends the pass over. A chance with the 3 on one Grabbed along the board by Paul Mary. Glove saved by the goalie. Kemper's going to smother it to get a whistle. Can get dangerous if nobody's in control of the puck. Vancouver's up next on the schedule. Always a tough test, it feels like, in this league, isn't it? Yeah, the prep will go once you get past this current game. Some guys don't want to know who's next. Some guys want to know everything in advance. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Keeps hold of the puck. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Skates in behind the cage. Quick shot. Denies him with the save. The Islanders move the puck in the defensive zone. Sends it in deep. Colorado's got possession of the puck. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Moves it to Helm. The Avs will play it against the wall. They score! James, how many timeouts can you have? Because they need one now. They needed one before. And the way this is going, they're going to need one in a few minutes. Or they could use the ghost of Roger Nielsen to wave that white towel. I don't think the goaltender gets a look at this at all, James. He just drops into the butterfly. He's hoping the thing hits him through that trap. Colorado's only continue to extend the lead here in the third. They haven't missed many chances. They've scored at will, and now we're coasting home. Less than 60 seconds left here in the final frame. New York's got a hold of the puck now. Oh, the officials saw that trip, and the hand is up. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. The coach just looks skyward as his team's taken its third penalty of this period. Nelson's won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. New York's gained possession along the boards. The Avalanche have gained control of the puck shorthanded. Moves it around along the half wall. New York's got the puck. And a smart heads up play to poke that away by Murray. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Colorado's got it from behind the net. Here's a blast. Big time stop. There it is, final horn sounds. We are all over here with this one. The Avs are living up to that old cliche. When you're hot, you're hot. Doesn't seem to matter how the game goes if they have a bad portion in it. They turn it around, and they're able to get themselves back towards the direction they need to play. Another win.
You know, there was a time it almost seemed like it was cool to ignore the fans after a game, but man, it's way more audience participation now. Well, it's all part of the bigger picture. This is supposed to be entertainment. They cheer you, you salute them. Everybody goes home happy. Well, this one's in the books. A fun one tonight for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Good night.